Welcome to Money Masters. I am here with a real money master whom I have known for 30 years and uh, by sheer you know his brilliance and continuity he has proved to be a real master. So welcome Nilesh. Thank you Dhirendra Bhai. Pleasure to be here. So thank you for making it and making it possible. This is a slightly you know uh, I would like to delve deeper into the way you think, the way you have evolved and I will not be asking any of the standard question that where is the market headed and all that. Uh, so let me start with you know the first question which crosses my mind because now you have a much broader arena uh, of interaction, responsible uh, roles that you have been entrusted with. So you know we are all in a tremendous phase of, phase of excitement about India's future. So give us your perspective on this for the next X years, you decide on the X for whatever value of X you choose, uh, where we are likely to be, what is, what, what is the game plan that, that, that you know that crosses your mind? So Dhirendra Bhai, three things are in India today. Pre-90s our talent used to go abroad for better opportunity. Satya Nadella, Sundar Pichai, Ashantanu Narayan had to go abroad for opportunity. When our talent went abroad, they started running Fortune 500 companies. Mm -hmm. Today, a lot of talent is staying back in India. When this talent stays back, tomorrow's Fortune 500 or Fortune 5000 companies will be created in India. That's the big difference. Second, talent ko paisa chahiye. Mm -hmm. Earlier, your parents gave you money. Or if there relatives gave you money, then it was a business. Today, for a talent and a business idea, capital is available via private equity, venture capital ecosystem. Mm -hmm. About 90,000 startups have come funded by $140 billion worth of capital. And this will continue. There was a time when Mumbai, Gujarati and Marwadi completed the broking. Mm -hmm. Now the largest broking company of India is operated in Bangalore. Bangalore by two brothers. Mm -hmm. What a disruption, what a change. And the number two is also in evolving in Bangalore. The number two yeah. is also evolving in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. And third, talent and capital will create miracle if they are provided infrastructure. Mm -hmm. A lot of brilliant entrepreneurs couldn't succeed as much as they should have succeeded because prior to 2000-2010, our infrastructure was not competitive to the rest of the world. In 10 years of 2014-24, to 24, we are building almost as much infrastructure as existed before 2013. Is it that scale? Roads will go from 82,000 kilometers to 165,000 kilometers. Okay. Airports will go from 70 to 150. Port capacity will go from 1400 million metric tons to 2800 million metric tons. Metro will go from 5 cities and 250 kilometers to probably 27 cities. And it will not go maybe next year, but mm. in few years to about very, 80 very well kilometers. In the pipeline. Very much in the pipeline. <clears throat> Power capacity is going from 230-235 gigawatt to 430-435 gigawatt. So across road, port, airport, telecom, broadband, port, mm -hmm. we are seeing infrastructure getting created. Now you combine talent, capital and infrastructure together. Undoubtedly, we will see India's golden mm -hmm. period in this Amrit Kal. Mm -hmm. This was unthinkable as we were getting started, you know, early in year 2000. Absolutely. I mean, if we see history of India's economy from beginning of civilization till 1800 years, we were number one, number mm -hmm. two economy in the world, mostly number one. And which is why UN Sang, Fahiyan, Vasco de Gama, Christopher Columbus, they all came searching for India. Amara Ramji Bhai, Samji Bhai, to bahar kahi nahi mm -hmm. And if they went, it, that was for trading. Colonization deprived us of our growth. For about 200 years, we didn't grow at all. Our growth rate in 200 years was 0%. Or we had a steep so, decline. Top to bottom. Aage. 
From 1947 till 1990, we followed economic policies which didn't allow us to grow as fast as others were growing. In 47, India and Japan were similar in per capita GDP. 60, India and South Korea were similar in per capita GDP. 80, India and China were similar. Today, all of them are way ahead of way us. Ahead of us yeah. Our economic journey started probably in 1991 and got accelerated in 2014. Now we are seeing what was unthinkable just 30 years back. So it's all doable now. So, you know, it's also a confidence. The, the mental makeup has also undergone yes. a radical change. Uh, well, that's about the country and we are at a very sweet spot of being very positive. But what has been the biggest factor in your own success? I, I know your progression. I know your progression uh, through the jobs. But uh, for the benefit of our all the viewers and the listeners, I would like to you to narrate your story. And so, what has been the biggest factor? So I lost my father at a very early age. And hamari upni halat achhi nahi thi. So mom had to work outside. And I told my mom ki main bhi chhod deta hu, padai likhai. And I'll find out some work. Mm -hmm. And my school teacher said, okay, no, nothing doing. As long as you come first in your class, I'll pay the fees. Okay. So I'm thankful to people like my principal, teachers, yeah. Jani, who sponsored my education. Without that, I would have never reached where I am today. Mm -hmm. Throughout the journey, I have seen people, you know, blessing me. Someone sponsored my fees. Someone provided food. Mm -hmm. Someone provided clothes. And I think it is the generosity of people with their help I've reached here. And generosity is in kind also. Mm -hmm. I'm lucky to get some mentors whom I can approach even today without any hesitation and lay my problem. Market is so confusing and complicated. You need some sounding boards where you can give your confusion and get the right answer. So I'm truly lucky that people have been generous to me and which is where I have reached where I am. Generosity of all your well-wishers and around you. Absolutely. Uh, so that looks quite, that is quite extraordinary or you know, do, did you also realize then that it is quite extraordinary? The generosity of the people around you? Undoubtedly. But uh, frankly speaking, Dhenendra Bhai, this is not something unusual. I grew up in a chawl system. Mm -hmm. Chawl system is like an extended family. If you don't have a chula in your house, then someone would take care of it and they'll take care. Okay. Uh, fees, I mean, uh, there were scholarship schemes available mm -hmm. and there were so many people who even today provide scholarships to needy people. I think even in our work edu environment, work, edu work education system, there are people who mentor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So to me, generosity has been fantastic and always available. Mm -hmm. But I don't think so. It is unique to me alone. This is part and parcel of our ecosystem. The Indian system in particular. Absolutely. I remember that the first roti was always kept at home for उनको खिलाने के बाद ही आप खाना खाते थे। वो तो ठीक है, but you know, the, besides that, has it undergone a change? This particular value system, or the way people are hired, the people are educated, or the things becoming more impersonal, so to say, so, has it undergone a little change? To me, कर भला तो हो भला। If you have right intentions in the heart. You will find the right response. Have I always met generous people? Answer is no. There will be some bad experiences, but why bother about them? Mm -hmm. By and large, I have seen it. It is making far more sense to trust people, rely upon them, and expect generosity in return. No, uh, my question was somewhat different. With passage of time, as life becomes more impersonal, people li live more independently. Uh, you know, the chawl system may not be there anymore. Uh, will it, is it any different now? Or is it so, very different me? Uh, undoubtedly, it is very, very different. But, uh, you know, we are all fighting the darkness which is prevailing. 
uh, we can never become the sun which can dispel darkness mm-hmm. but we can always be the candle which can create some light so you okay. focus on yourself mm-hmm. not on outsiders and things will change have you had a role model so now uh, but professional role model not just professionally but you know and and holistically too so when i was kid i used to go to library and read a lot and i remember reading somewhere that uh, there was a story about a person who goes to heaven and uh, he is asked like uh, there are so many photographs of great people is there a role model of yours and he replies that i learn everything from someone mm-hmm. okay i i learn something from, from everyone, everyone. Mm. and the god said yes that's the right thing to do so somewhere that story has remained with me you don't make people role model you make their trait role model mm-hmm. so would i like to be as smart in analyzing company as let's say nimesh bhai yes i won't be able to reach to that level but that's something i would like to copy from him then there are so many other people i would like to be as smart as them in how they understand things how they use technology how they deal with people mm-hmm. uh, i think it's important to pick up the right traits from people and then make it your role model rather than just one individual yeah okay not have a individual uh, in your mind so yeah. so now that you know you have spent a lifetime in mutual funds so i'm very aware of your biases uh, as i will also have it you yeah. know but still how would you answer the very basic question stock or mutual fund so if you are smart then you can do direct investment with knowledge research commitment always stock. temperament and because a, mm-hmm. stock is like a ferrari car mm-hmm. you can run it at whatever speed you want mutual fund by definition is an oil tanker i mm-hmm. can't run it like a speed boat okay. i'll be running it slowly and steadily but how many people know how to run a car or a speed boat if not leave aside ferrari please, leave aside ferrari mm-hmm. if not then please stay in us stay mm-hmm. with us okay so so what do you do now you by design have to invest uh, in mutual I, fund i don't have a choice you don't have a choice. i get 100 rupee 40 rupee government takes away 20 rupees i put in pf and nps that leaves me 40 rupees 20 rupees i put in to skin in the game circular of mm-hmm. mutual funds balance 20 rupees i give to my wife so i don't have to worry about okay. anything okay that's our consumption too we often hear also see the data that many investors in mutual funds are unable to realize the returns that the fund themselves do so what's the reason ek hi reason hai jaldi ka kaam shaitan ka mm mm-hmm. you know warren buffet was asked like warren so many things have been written about you but how come there is no other warren buffet like you he said it's as simple as that people know what i do but people don't have my patience mm-hmm. i became rich not on day one i became rich on much much later yeah 50s yeah people don't have patience they just want to jump from one place to another place every day up train mein baithte hain and so many trains go ahead of you you don't jump your train you sit in the train to reach your destination mutual fund mein log jump kar dete hain fir destination pe nahi pahunchte so impatience and inability to is has the industry a role to play here undoubtedly see while i want my customer to be perfect i have to contribute to make it perfect mm-hmm. and which is why communication becomes critical knowledge becomes critical nudges becomes critical so earlier we used to put exit load so that people stay back mm-hmm. now unfortunately exit loads have gone away but then you try to communicate with investors and your partners to ensure that they become long term investors most of our literature carries the messaging of long term and also the need to be long term because in short term things go up and down can we do more undoubtedly yes there's never end to a journey it's always work in progress but i think by communication knowledge and nudges we should be able to get the right behavior so is it beginning to happen now a little bit undoubtedly with the fib yes. book getting built undoubtedly 
नाउ देर इज अ वर्ड ऑफ माउथ पब्लिसिट इतने दिन भाई मैं जाके बोलूँ म्यूचुअल फंड अच्छा है पीपल विल से ये तो आप बोलेंगे ही बट वेन थर्ड पार्टी गोज कि नहीं बेटा म्यूचुअल फंड अच्छा है नहीं बेटी आप भी ये जरूर करिए दैट मेक्स ऑल द डिफरेंस वन ऑफ दर्स्ट म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट 97, 97. Okay. Oh no, not even 97. Sorry, 87. I am the original investor of UTI hmm. Master, Master Share, Share even okay. today. Okay, you still hold it. I haven't sold. So you have, you are not tired of getting all the dividends. जो आ रहा है चलने दो. And it was a thousand rupee. It was not yeah, a big yeah. money, but fair enough. No, no, I yeah, hold yeah, it for 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. And then one had to wait for another three, four years to get the next one, the Master Plus. Yes. And the madness we have seen of those times. Absolutely. So are investors getting how? What percentage of investors are getting better? Is it five percent have turned into a long-term investor, SIP investor, or it is thirty percent, or is it seventy percent? How would you look at that? So my experience is in Kotak Mutual Fund. We have about fifty lakh unique customers. Okay. And if I see their behavior, I think there is a significant change for whatever reason from March twenty. Okay. Pre-COVID. I still felt that when the markets used to go down, redemptions used to come, mm-hmm. not subscription. Post March twenty, I'm seeing that when markets go down, people put more money. So COVID really influenced investors. They're behavior. still timing it. Oh uh, no, it's not timing because they continue with their SIP, but they invest markets more. They become then. cheaper. They come and buy more. Okay. earlier it was they'll do sip and when markets fall they'll redeem mm-hmm. now they are putting more money they do sip top up post march 20 till now i think 70 80% of investors have become mature they are willing to give time mm-hmm. they are willing to follow a set allocation they want to do regular investment and most importantly they are not afraid of volatility what what would have contributed to this behavior this change in mind and behavior a lot of credit should go to mutual fund distributors okay while there are black ships in every profession i think by and large mutual fund distributors have done a fantastic job they are contributing to this they are very ed- meaningful way. they are educating customers they are holding on to the customer they are ensuring proper behavior out of customer the second credit should go to dhirendra bhai people like you you have spread financial education today it's very very difficult to find a person who doesn't know what he is supposed to do mm-hmm. people don't necessarily always do what they are supposed to do but at least they are aware they are aware of they they come for value to. research online or they read magazines they know what you are supposed to do if they don't know you they can go 20 years back read some magazine mm-hmm. figure out what you had mentioned that which has been proven right yes, subsequently yeah. so there is a way to even verify your credentials even if i don't know you mm-hmm. and the third thing is the uh, word of mouth publicity when i had 50 satisfied customers mera daira itna chota tha mm-hmm. now i have 50 lakh satisfied customers maybe 5 lakh won't mm-hmm. be but 45 lakh for sure they are spreading word of mouth multiplier so distributors influencers or educators and influencer has become a little embarrassing name so don't refer me as one <laughs> but nevertheless th- these three things are the primary Absolutely. driver and it's quite a permanent and a lot of credit should go to sebi mm-hmm. their investor awareness program was a fantastic thought uh, we charged the mutual fund sahi hai the mutual fund okay so that was yours no, that was by sebi so sebi uh, guided us to do that it was entirely to their credit and that investor awareness program founded by sebi has done a wonderful mm-hmm. work in sending the right and they executed to... it or the fund industry executed it okay. we executed it again under guidance of sebi and they have been involved at every step mm-hmm. and uh, when we requested them that in order to increase the coverage please allow us some celebrity endorsement they give sports persons and with dhoni and tendulkar and rohit sharma coming and talking i think that has made a huge impact mm-hmm. Are you pleased with this? That you know they g- gave extremely, you a limited permission. Extremely. Do you believe pleased. in that? Extremely pleased. Okay. I think SEBI has created the guardrail for mutual fund industry, okay. and which is why our balls remain in the corridor. Every industry where there is no regulator in financial services have gone down. NFTs had no regulator, gone down. Art had no regulator. At least art funds have gone down. 
Ponzi schemes had no regulator, it has gone down. But they are illegal activity anyway. So it should not have existed in the first place. No. You can't say robbery is gone down because you know robbers shouldn't exist. No, nee, but we never knew whether it was legal, illegal. There was all, they were always in grey. Ponzi schemes, today we call them illegal, but at one point of time they were all respected organizations. North India mein PSEL karke company they just ne 60,000 crore rupaya uthaya. No, that's not a small number. It can't be considered. But the scale cannot justify. You know, it's like saying ki ye daku bahut bhari barkam daku hai. Yes, sir, but isliye ek number ka ho gaya aisa nahi kya sakte. But wo to paper mein advertise karke paisa uthata tha. Bakayda. मतलब हमारे देश का वो तो gap है in terms of ability yes. to. So, it was not falling within the jurisdiction of anyone, but it was not a below the table activity, it was on the table activity. Wo bakaida paper mein advertisement aati thi full page ki aquaculture, wo tree plantation, emu, ye wo dunya bhar ki cheeche aa rahi thi. Now yes, we were late in controlling that thing, but wherever there was no regulator, those industries despite good start, despite flexibility didn't work. So guardrails of regulator is most important in growing a financial services industry. You have a great social media following. And you know, how has social media impacted the investment world, both from investors and an industry point of view? So Dhenendra Bhai, I was a debt fund manager. Before I was talking about it, people were thinking. So I thought that if they would think, they would not get money. Then I had to become entertaining. So I started talking about Scriptures like Rama and Mahabharat, cricket, Bollywood. Stories and around them. That's how people started liking me. Making it more interesting. Okay. We, we spoke in a language which was de-jargonized. Mm -hmm. Instead of talking duration and yield curve mm -hmm. shift and flattener and steepener. Modified duration too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> we talked about why it is necessary to stay on the pitch like Tendulkar and so on and so forth. Slowly, slowly that became yeah. the driver. And you had to differentiate yourself vis-a-vis your peers also. If I talk about what my other peers will do, then why will they give me money? So there was a competition in some sense to differentiate yourself. Eventually you realize that this is what is connecting with you people. My ours is an arranged marriage and my wife was a professor when we were engaged. And when we went to the theater, we would give a ticket to the students. When we were in the restaurant, we were standing in the line of food. We would give our seat to the students. We would give our seat to the students. We would sit here. So I was always impressed by how much respect teachers get. And I wanted to do something where I will be respected. Emulating your wife. Absolutely. It was a competition. My wife got so much respect. She doesn't know anyone. So there was that drive. No, you know your own area. Yes, but no one didn't know outside in the 90s. So I wanted to get similar respect like a teacher, like a professor, like my wife. And which is where I started meeting people, talking in a language, going on television. You became a teacher to command that respect. Absolutely. So we became financial educator. And then the natural extension was in social media, where while there are uh, quite a dramatic, various uh, dramatic enablement, yeah. enablement, but you can still communicate to people. Mm -hmm. So, how, what kind of impact it has had on investors or investment world as such? So, again, it's a very, very heterogeneous community. There are some people who are extremely good. When you hear from them on the feedback or on the discussion on the points which you raise, it's really interesting. So a lot of customer feedback which comes on my social media handle helps us improve our services. Okay. Okay. Obviously, there are some people who complain just for the sake of it and Complaining. they try to harass you. But fair enough, ignore them, focus on what is right and use it. Mm -hmm. And has it really affected the investment world, the way investment is being done or made or you know the way investors behave? Investor behavior undoubtedly has been influenced. There are many people on social media whom people respect and they learn from them. Uh, on the investment per se, social media has not played that much role. Mm -hmm. But instead of social media, quant is playing an important role. 
Okay. Uh, earlier, if I used to take two hours to read a balance sheet, today through machine learning, I can read it in two minutes. Mm -hmm. You get the I, summary of it. Okay. You can scan the entire mm -hmm. uh, or read the entire balance sheet and get your queries out. Mm -hmm. If I would have read a balance sheet to do mental calculation, I'll have to input data. That will take some time and I may enter wrong data, mm -hmm. may I, maybe I'll interpret wrong data. But today, thanks to ML, I can get the entire analytics done you without any error answer to your in questions. no time. So mm -hmm. want and use of technology is influencing Have investment. you embraced all this in your company? We don't have a choice. Okay. If I don't embrace, what I exactly won't What exactly have you done? So first, we recruited people who understood this better than us. Mm -hmm. They are data scientists, data analysts. Second, then we started creating database because unless until you have right data, you'll never be able to get the right output. Then we married data analyst and data analytics vis-a-vis -vis data sets to drive conclusions which will help us in our investment mm -hmm. process. We start evaluating correlation of stocks better. We start analyzing stocks better. We try to understand impact of events based on past experience in a much finer way. Uh, we try to create optimum portfolio from a risk return liquidity point of view. We also try to identify price momentum or value or growth biases onto it. So a lot of data analytics. Not much in bond uh, fixed income uh, arena? On the fixed income side, I wouldn't say that much, it is because as much anyway, because the amount of data available is very limited. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a huge data, but are we also the ponderables are limited? Absolutely, you have three things to look at, you know. So, absolutely. So, I'm sure a, a day will come when our debt markets will become liquid and there will be use of quant over there. But as of today, quant usage in debt is fairly limited. Right. What do you have to say about this influencer phenomenon that, uh, that has come about and you know, should it be regulated? I think anything which is linked with public finance should be regulated. As I mentioned earlier, without guardrail, if you play bowling, ball will go into any corridor. Guardrails are important. And I think it is important from the community itself. As mutual fund, if SEBI was not there, we had no option but to invent SEBI. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fortunately for us, SEBI was way before us and hence we have grown. But all influencers community should create a voluntary code of conduct, should create a regulator of their own as a part of association, like you have credi members and non-credi members on the real estate development. That will get them legitimacy. That will bring respect and confidence in them. Always remember you can make someone full once. You can make all the people full once, but you can't make all the people full all the time. All time and again. Yeah. Have you engaged any influencers in past as part of your marketing or anything? Uh, we have definitely or no, we directly? haven't engaged. Okay. Uh, has the investment management job become tougher since you know about two two decades ago? You know Undoubtedly. Or fixed yes. income and equity? How? Undoubtedly, yes. One pehle to information advantage. Mm -hmm. tha. I used to get balance sheet long before anyone else will get balance sheet. That itself was an advantage. Okay. That was a huge advantage. Second, I used to read balance sheet. That was an advantage. Mm -hmm. Now both those advantages are uh -huh. gone. I used to have access to company. Main unko milta tha. I used to talk to them and learn from them. Today they come on television or social media yeah, and answer investors. Many a times I have found that my cousins in Ahmedabad and Rajkot and Jaipur are more knowledgeable than I am. Mm -hmm. So information arbitrage has come down. Why they are more informed than you? They have the time. They have the time. Okay. They are spending, I mean, Dhirendra Bhai, this I'll talk about. I won't name the person. A chota bachcha tha. And मुझे किसी ने बोला कि इसके मिलिए बहुत अच्छा रिसर्च करता है हम तो इगोइस्टिक आदमी बोला कहाँ छोटे बच्चे से मिला रहे हैं बट भगवान ने थोड़ी अकल दी थी तो मैं पहुँच गया and उसके पास से I heard about a company I must say धीरेंद्र भाई his knowledge on company was hundred times more than mine your own research analyst or yourself 
myself, not my research analyst, but his research was impeccable. The amount of effort he had put in to understand that company was unbelievable. Then I asked him, like, how do you do it? He says, yeah, I full time karta hon, sirf das company ke research karta hon saal mein. Okay. Ek ek ke piche ek ek mahina laga deta hon. Okay. Now, where, where will I compete with them? They leverage technology better than me. They put enough time into it. Mm -hmm. And they go after entire chain. Vendors se leke suppliers, sabko pakad ke research they karte. They figure out that. Okay. So today there is no information arbitrage between institutional and non-institutional investors. Mm -hmm. Markets have become more efficient. And which is why fund management has become a lot tougher. So when we, will you write the obituary of uh, active management? If we don't adopt to quantitatives, it will happen much earlier than much expected. Okay. But if we can leverage technology, if I make AI ML my support tools mm -hmm. and I compete in the market, I think we'll survive. But the young kid you were referring to, how much, how, how much of a you know, market is there for his kind of work? A lot. So a lot. You can't have them as your fund manager? Have, their, have them as your research analyst. What prevents you from actually having them? A driven, passionate guy who is onto something uh, so remarkable. So one, the kind of pay package we offer versus what they will generate on their on own. On their own, okay. It's an There's entrepreneurial mismatch, okay. But uh, we are also expanding now. Our investment teams have doubled over last years. And we are trying to do a far deeper work now than let's say 10-20 years day. back. Okay. Because markets have become efficient, markets have become competitive and your only edge will be your research. You know, this was a very related question. And what about the fixed income? Uh, you know, you have, been, you, have, you have been a fixed income person. Yeah. Yeah. What, how the world has changed over the last 20 years? So when I started, but you know, it was mark to market, and Birla Advantage was a yes. a one day fixed deposit. Uh, Birla income, income plus. plus, yeah. Fixed income in our days was a fairly easy market. I used to make double the money of my peers for a reasonably long period of time. What did I do right? Some of my peers had restriction in terms of maturity up to five years. Mm -hmm. I was like Wild West going into 10 and 15 year segment mm -hmm. also. In those days, there was no 30, 40, 50 year segment. Simply because your duration was higher, you were able to make money. When that advantage narrowed down, we went into retailing. I used to buy in bulk and then sell in retail to all the PF trusts and brokers okay. and HNIs. No, this was in a mutual fund? This was in Templeton Mutual Achha, Fund. In a mutual fund. So you could make money. Now, like equity, fixed income market. No, so this was the normal practice that you buy a lot of 50 crore and mm -hmm. sell worth 50 lakh rupees. Yes. And, and uh, you make money. 100 customers and, Absolutely. and, that's, and you're done. And you're done. So making money in fixed income then was relatively much easier. All you required some flexibility that, okay, you will do retailing. There will be more deal tickets. Your back office will have to deal Not with multiple harder. people. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, but we were rewarded for taking those efforts. Now fixed income market has become fairly competitive. Information arbitrage has narrowed down. Retailing is no longer possible because brokers themselves do that or PF Trust mm -hmm. call for a tender. They know what is the price is available. So now if you want to make money... But that is still income, over the counter market. You know, there could be some inefficiency which can be captured. It's less than that. Okay. Because the equity market is where you put yeah. a bid and you know you get a... Absolutely. It's but nowadays NDS OMS prices Nothing. are visible on internet. So how so much discovery is much gala efficient. you can keep. Uh, you, you can't take them for a ride. Mm -hmm. uh, people have also realized there was a time when, when I started my career, we have sold bonds at current yield rather than YTM. <laughs> because right. people didn't know how to calculate YTM. Okay. Uh, Microsoft was, Excel did not exist. Uh, it it wasn't day. existing. There okay. used to be a book and you will have maturities on one side and coupon on the other side and then you'll figure out 
अगर चौदह टका कूपन है पांच साल की मेच्योरिटी है तो ये प्राइस आना चाहिए Where do you stand now? You have worked in, you know, large corporations, large institutions, you know, uh, ICICI, Prudential, Franklin, Templeton, and they are all of different kind, you know. And yeah. Kotak being a leader of the investment management uh, business, where do you stand on this, you know, people versus process scale for observing and predicting business success? Like one set is that great people create great business and they conduct in a nice way, and then great process. Where do you stand on this on this yardstick on this matrix? So when I joined Templeton, I, as I mentioned, I used to make double the return of my peers, and one day my CEO, which was Templeton Income Fund, Templeton India Guild Fund, Templeton India Income, Income Fund, Fund, both, and uh, from virtually nowhere we became second largest mutual fund in India. Mm-hmm. After UTI, income. we were the second largest mutual fund. of course we were aided by pioneer acquisition but it was largely fixed income so we had done tremendously well at the initial stages uh, like i was riding high and one day my ceo rajiv which called me saying that nilesh you should write down an investment process and i said rajiv main teri process hu mera performance dekh kya process likhne ka he was very kind enough to take me out and uh, we had a discussion and he explained why it is important to have process rajiv vich rajiv okay. vich he said today you are managing money and you are quite confident that you will make money but tomorrow you will have a team below you what would you love will you give them same power or will you want some sort of process i realized the importance of process and thank rajiv who taught me the importance from there onwards we said we have to have boundaries we have to have processes mm-hmm. and within those boundaries and within those processes we'll recruit the best people and give them the okay. liberty but you can't break the boundaries so great people with boundaries absolutely okay so that is where you stand what message would you say to your you know younger self at this point when you started in this industry if i could go back I'll simply say, learn from others' mistake. Don't make those mistakes yourself. It's too costly to learn from your own mistakes. Did you? Of course. Uh, come in. I was the first. Blunders? I was the first fixed income fund manager in the country in modern era who had bad debts. Okay. In my Templeton, Templeton income India fund, income. I had bad debt. Secure meters and secure me. Secure meters paid back, but viral filament didn't. Viral filament. Okay. And uh, my career would have ended. It had it not been templeton had it not been templeton because templeton realized that they should take the hit as it was a error on the investment process side i think i should have stand firm on mm-hmm. saying that no we don't make money by taking credit calls in india we make money by taking duration, duration calls in calls. india and subsequently that happened and we became second largest mutual fund mm-hmm. for a foreign brand to become second largest mutual fund in less than a decade it's nothing short of a miracle so learn from others mistake don't make those That's mistakes fine. yourself so anything else you would have done differently would you have avoided would would have gone into investment banking not this or in investment management or equity bait or any such thing that crossed i would have mind? been in investment management okay dhirendra bhai hamara job ek aisa job hai jahan pe paisa bhi acha milta hai aur logo ki duaye milti hai okay today like many a times i have seen some elderly people coming and putting hand on your head ke beta teri wajah se yahan pe ja rahe hain hotel mein Mm-hmm. you are doing a very good job um, someone will tell my kid or my wife ke aapke nilesh bhai to bahut acha kaam karte hain paisa bhi mile aur duaye bhi mile isse acha job kahan milega mm-hmm. mm-hmm. i did uh, took a detour of four years in investment banking but that was a mistake which part you know would have uh, have turned out to be very different from what you had expected kuch aisa cheez shuru mein hua tha jo ki बहुत डिफरेंट चीज हो गया और आपको एक्चुअली वो कभी एक्सपेक्टेड ही नहीं था सो व्हेन आई जॉइन म्यूचुअल फंड आई जॉइन टेंपलटन बिकॉज़ इट वाज पेइंग फार हायर सैलरी देन व्हाट आई वाज गेटिंग आई केम ओनली फॉर मनी ओके 
when I started managing money, एक जोश था कि मेरे को नंबर वन बनना है I want to be better than my peers. It was all about making money. It was all about increasing AUM. It was all about managing money. I think somewhere Templeton taught us importance of SIP. And then, you know, my fixed income fund had a great run because from 97 to 03, Yields came down from fourteen percent to five percent. Yeah, fourteen, fifteen percent equity kind of return from debt. Yeah. I was outperforming every equity mutual fund hmm. in that period. It was also a struggling period for equity. And so. equity struggled post two thousand hmm. TMT correction. So you know it was not a fair comparison. But then we went out of our way to tell clients that this is time to move out of fixed income fund. Okay. Please redeem my guild fund, bond fund. we came with liquid fund floating rate fund so that people can have lower duration and my 6000 crore fixed income fund had become just about 200 300 crore okay. and this was done by all the fixed income fund managers of the industry all of us communicated to customers please don't put money in fixed income anymore please come into the non duration fund and that created goodwill Now, majority of our investors were institutionals or HNI. They would have probably taken the same decision, if not same time, little later. Mm-hmm. But that created goodwill. The pehli baar pata chala ki I am not in this business for managing money or generating better return. I am here to enrich my customer. Optimizing things, managing Absolutely. expectations. Okay. Give the right answer. Mm-hmm. When you don't know, say I don't know. Don't try to predict future. Don't try to be a hero. Just ensure that your customers' well-being is at your heart. You keep client first. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if your AUM goes down. So be it. And when you kept client first, we saw our AUMs remain the same and in fact mm-hmm. grew. Yes, it changed, but they were still comfortable keeping us money. So, I think we realized little later, but. Fair enough, better late than never. That we are in this business for managing people's trust, making them richer, not just managing money. Mm-hmm. Now that you know you have been here for nearly close to thirty years, and all kind of institutions, you know, Franklin Templeton, ICC Prudential, and Kotak. Broadly, you know, these three and long stints. If you look at this, you know, they they are also different from their ownership point of view. Yeah. uh you know franklin templeton uh, you know a multinational with asset management in their dna for 100 years or, or close to 100 years or you know uh icc prudential aggressive long term uh, you know financer becoming a mutual fund and whatever becoming a prominent player in india from nowhere uh which was in a startup mode and likewise here is kotak which is you know being a startup is its dna even if it has turned big So, how what difference do you find here, functioning every day and you know thinking long term? So, while there is differentiator, for example, in Templeton, there is more of a horizontal reporting. Uh, you had dotted lines to the local CEO, but you were also part of the global team. Okay. ICSA Prudential on was, asset management on asset management okay. side. Uh, in ICSA Prudential. you were trying to buy best from bank as well as from an insurance company who was your uh, other sponsor mm-hmm. uh, kotak is a far more entrepreneurial firm but the dna which was common across all three was client first okay no shortcuts be fully compliant fully compliant with the letter as well as spirit of the law and do your best i think that dna remains common across three organization when i went to my templeton boss and said that i should be asking clients to redeem from fixed income funds he was happy he didn't say no that are my aum will go away mm-hmm. when i went to nimesh in icsa prudential in 2007 that you know one of our competitor had launched an infra fund and it had collected a lot of money and i was running very good infra fund and all our sales guys were saying that let's launch infra fund and i said no it doesn't make sense 
from oh. September 7 to probably May 08 we didn't launch a single equity fund okay and nimesh was fine he said no, no problem that is when competition was launching closed and in we could have collected 10000 crore okay but he was comfortable <clears throat> giving me the space saying that if you believe this is not the right time to launch the fund because it's not good for customers we'll stick with it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. uh same thing in kotak so it's very very clear that in all this organizations client first be compliant no shortcuts that dna has remained common how difficult it is you know you have been in a leadership position in all the three in a, in your own way at different levels how you know what is the kind of charm of these companies for the prospective employees when you attract them you know there is a fight for talent and uh, if you have to get a person in kotak as compared to franklin as compared to icsc pro what is the key difference how, how do rookies look at these companies different thing people want to come obviously to earn money but beyond money they also come here to build a career mm-hmm. if i can convince people that in kotak your career is going to be built and you are going to learn and you are going to have fun while working i think that becomes okay. the biggest usp today's kid no that is your pitch but uh, i have to deliver on it you also have to deliver okay. i have to deliver on it i don't think so anyone is going to go by brand name anymore people want money people want career people want learning and people want fun while working mm-hmm. uh, what do you mean by fun in while working so in all these organizations where i have worked i have always had heated discussions with my subordinates but we have discussions on an equal footing mm-hmm. okay if i was able to convince them this is the position we should take will take if they were able to convince me i'll blindly go by what they have mentioned mm-hmm. and many a times you know your call goes wrong you don't put blame on the other guy okay you just say that yes our call has gone wrong but let's take corrective action mm-hmm. and move on so people don't want uh, a stressful situation where credit goes to the leader and debit comes to the subordinates the people people don't want the situation where leader talks from this and mm-hmm. subordinate talks from this we are all equal we are all intelligent we all have common goals and we, we will all swim and, and sink together mm-hmm. uh one last question which where i want to really understand your comprehension or the way you have seen we are increasingly witnessing you know this uh, there used to be an animal called promoter who had skin in the business who owned the business and we still have large number of indian companies where there is a promoter then we have lot of companies which were professional in the sense that the you know hdfc bank or lnt one you know there, there are few of them itc and things like that but by and large we had promoted led companies and these kind of companies now we have a third generation a new generation company where to begin with it is a startup it's a publicly funded company or you know not publicly funded in that sense of you know public ownership and the skin in the business came in the absence of a promoter who has who, there are people who have were founders but they are not necessarily owners how does it really Uh, change the contours of you know looking at businesses so to us whether you are promoter you are manager doesn't matter a lot what matters is what's your value system okay and i have a very interesting conversation from uday when he said so i said what is your expectations from me when i become ceo of kotak mutual fund and he says nilesh there are four by four Uh, two by two portions four portions in life the first is bhagwan ram portion bhagwan ram's objectives were always noble and the means to achieve that objective was always noble mm-hmm. he will never compromise he will never take shortcuts and that's why he's mariyada purushottam mm-hmm. because he honors noble objective with noble means try to be in ram quotient always no shortcuts but we are in kalyu sometimes you have to compromise the second quotient is krishna quotient the objective will always be right yes but mm-hmm. the means okay. to achieve those objectives sometimes were compromised aswa kama mara gaya kind of thing narova kunjrova bhai guru dron ko marna zaruri tha 
सो प्लीज से अस्वस्थामा मर गया एंड देन व्हेन गुरु द्रोण आस्क्स युधिष्ठिर ही रिप्लाइज नरोवा कुंजरोवा बट ऑब्जेक्टिव वाज राइट टू विन द वॉर अगेंस्ट द इविल सो समटाइम्स इफ यू हैव टू बी इन कृष्णा क्वेश्चन इट इज फाइन राइट ऑब्जेक्टिव्स बट सम कॉम्प्रोमाइज्ड मींस the third is the duryodhan quotient duryodhan's objectives were always wrong but his discipline for means was many a times righteous for example when he was fighting for his life at the end of the battle he didn't hit bhim sen below the belt mm-hmm. but bhim had to hit him below the belt to kill him but the objective of duryodhan for the entire war was wrong so he might never, itself was wrong never go into duryodhan quotient where you're you can say my means are right but if your goal is wrong that's the end of it and the fourth portion letter is, not the spirit kind of situation absolutely. okay okay and fourth portion is ravan question objective and means both were wrong mm-hmm. so never go there i think we also put promoters in this two by first two, two things are tolerable ram krishna we have seen in the last 20 30 years infosys came about and so did many other great entrepreneurs got their capital good means bad means rough weather whatever but they build something today we come across a completely new regime where companies don't make money now they have been able to permitted to raise money and people are actually invest and you know we have global examples too and there are sizable businesses millions of customers millions of you know intermediaries or vendors or you know people involved with them and they haven't seen the profits at all how do you how do you look at these so dhirendra bhai because you know uday kotak never lost money in any quarter yeah uh, or you know with pr- his primus days or this days or you know building sure. it, it was always a profitable journey so i am from build discounting to those days or whatever you know whenever yeah. i look at other, they, today it's different and how do you how do you visualize look so at this i am from old school i am i want to see profits in the business before i can pay a value but you know if you want to play test match in the classical way then you will be misfit in the t20 game a cheteshwar pujara will be perfect in his technique but adopting to a different betting style surya kumar yadav has become a successful t20 player mm-hmm. i think one has to play as the situation demands okay in tweet in t20 be like surya kumar yadav in test match be like cheteshwar pujara now when this new age company started coming i also thought that i should learn so i set in zomato's uh, interview uh, the pitch ipo pitch and i said my team no this guy is loss making how should we invest and they said sir this will open at a premium we should invest clearly there are so many things working for the company i allowed them to invest and indeed it opened at a premium then there was a ptm issue i again said there and based on my zomato experience i said we should invest here Mm-hmm. and they said no sir we should not invest it will open yeah. at a discount because of 1 2 3 4 and again you know they prevailed over me and good because and it, it turned out to be true yeah. so then i realized i am completely old and outdated for this i should learn how to understand this things mm-hmm. india mein to mujhe koi padhane wala tha nahi mm-hmm. do char logo ke paas gaya to they laughed at me saying that kya nilesh bhai mazak kar rahe ho hamara i had gone with all the genuineness of learning फिर एक बाहर से बंदे को पकड़ा एंड आई थिंक ही मेड सम ब्रिलियंट पॉइंट्स व्हिच आई हैव ट्राइड टू कॉपी वन इन दिस न्यू एज कंपनी द विनर विल टेक ऑल द बेनिफिट्स इफ यू आर नंबर वन कंपनी यू विल हैव यू टेक द होल मार्केट मार्केट शेयर एंड प्रॉफिट एवरीवन एल्स विल बी आउट सो यू हैव टू बी विनर टू बी अ विनर यू नीड टू हैव कैपिटल Now, someone might be burning capital, someone might be earning capital, but your sponsor has deep pockets, then you can burn capital. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you should have adequate access to capital of your own or of your sponsors, but without money, you can't be a winner. You're not there. Third, there has to be a path to profitability. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's five years down the line, maybe it's fifteen years down the line, but there has to be a path to profitability. 
in every quarter when the company publishes data, you try to figure out whether that path to profitability is pre-poning or postponing. Mm -hmm. And based on that, you will be able to take a fair call on the value of the company. Okay. Combining all these things with governance, I think in new age companies, you will find winner. Okay, there will be companies a framework. Companies are to making losses today, but they'll have a path to profitability. And keep on updating their quarterly numbers to realize whether they are moving away or they are going nearby. Because in this game, the winner will take it all. Thank you very much. But you know, I have one last question before I leave you, <laughs> which is the great privilege which fixed income investors had in India disappeared two years ago. Now, what is the point now? Where do we go from here? So, Dhirendra Bhai... Why should we invest? Of course, liquidity and... Uh, but the tax efficiency uh, and the whole undoubtedly thing... Undoubtedly, from your point of view, there is no particular reason for you to invest with us compared to directly owning stocks. Yes, liquidity could be small reason. Diversification, which I can give for 1000 rupees, you can't achieve. So, those are the mm. points. But my request will be, give us the ability to generate leveraged return. Okay, leveraged return. Globally, fixed income fund managers take massive leverage to generate return for their customers. Okay. Now, obviously, leverage is risky. It's a double-edged sword. But my feeling is that most fixed income fund managers are professional enough to use leverage to generate better return. In a measured way. In a measured way. There will be higher risk undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. But my get, guess is that we'll be able to deliver better return to you with if some... the regulators are able to set up some boundaries and... Have access to leverage. Last year, I had a product which would have delivered you 10% return locked in for five years in government securities portfolio. Okay. Because floating rate bonds were going above fixed rate bonds mm -hmm. in terms of yield of about 75 to 100 basis point. I just would have bought floating rate fund converted into fixed and paid swaps. Mm -hmm. I would have given you 10% return. You could not have done mm -hmm. it on your own. On and there was no risk if you stayed invested for five years because those swaps... And we had the design of FMP and things like that. We had the design of FMPs. And if I give you 10% on guilds, you will come to me for five years without any worry. Mm -hmm. So allow me those tools with which I can add value to customers' portfolio. And yes, it is high risk product. So keep it for HNIs and larger customers. And if over five, 10 years, we are able to demonstrate that we know what we are doing, then make it retail also. Mm -hmm. Great. So thank you very much. No more questions. Now I look forward to inviting you once again after, you know, we have accumulated some interesting question on which we can actually get, get gain from your insights. Thank you very thank much, Nilesh, for being with us. Thank you, Dhirendra. Thank you.